And the fallout mounts from Obamacare. Our next guest says the days of rationed health care could finally be upon us. Dr. Kevin Campbell, assistant professor at UNC's Department of Medicine, joins us now with details. Dr. Kevin, good to have you back on the show. Uh, I think you make a very interesting point when you say the high cost of some of these specialty medicines is effectively rationing care. Explain what you mean by that. You know, we have so many remarkable innovations and developments in healthcare now, and a lot of these are coming at a very high cost, including some of the new drugs for hepatitis C that I referenced in an article I wrote this week. And what this is occurring is it's causing us to not be able to pay for these. How can we afford to give everyone who needs these drugs these drugs when they're so terribly expensive? I want to show folks the, the price tags on some of this. So Solvaldi, 1000 bucks per pill, 84000 for a 12-week treatment. Harvoni, another one of these, $1,125 per pill. That's $94,000 for a 12-week week treatment. So how does this get paid? Does it go on the taxpayer's bill? Uh, do people have to pay for this themselves? Right now, if you're a Medicare recipient, you pay for about the first $4,700. After that, it becomes a catastrophic expense, and Medicare will pick up 80% of that cost, which means that we as taxpayers will pay for that. So what I see coming down the line is there's going to be criteria for who gets these drugs and who doesn't. And that's really sad because these are life-saving, curative therapies that we really all should have access well, to. Well, it's not experimental. This is the thing that does the work. Let me show you. You know, we're talking about Medicare spending explosion on this drug. On hepatitis C therapy, Medicare spent $4.5 billion last year alone, uh, and that's coming right out of taxpayer pockets at the end of the day. What, in your view, how should this be handled? How should this issue? Because these drugs are so expensive. You know, I think that the pharmaceutical companies are charging exactly what they think they can get for it. And I think we have to figure out a way to pay them fairly for their risk and their research and development dollars, but also make it affordable for everyone because not everyone can write a check for $84,000 to pay for this drug that will cure you in 12 weeks from a disease that could cause liver failure and need of liver transplantation. So it's a huge cure. But Dr. Kevin, here's what the companies themselves would say. We spend a lot of money developing these products. It takes us a lot of time. We need to be compensated for it. What's your response? You know, I think that there has to be something between making money and compassion. And unfortunately, the street doesn't reward compassion. It rewards no. uh, making lots of money. And I think that, you know, hopefully we can come to some agreement to where these can be reasonably priced. You may ask, well, will they lower the price once they recoup their R&D dollars? Well, one of the chief executives at uh, Gilead said that it is very unlikely they would lower the the cost once they recoup their r and It's a fascinating conversation. Dr. Campbell, thank you for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Jerry.